Hello everyone and welcome to Sources classes. So in this video again we will continue our discussion with respect to the question pertaining to the test of mathematics. So what we will basically be doing is we will try and take a look at the kind of questions that we are usually seeing in this kind of examination and also we will try and understand the concept or the approach behind solving the same as well so that whenever we come across this kind of question in general uh, in any kind of examination we are easily able to identify the question with the right approach and easily able to solve them. So I have said that this uh, we again have a very interesting question pertaining to a bit of geometry and also uh, basically perimeter entries of area. So let's take a look. If uh, the area of the expanding circular region increases at a constant rate with respect to time, then the rate of increase of perimeter with respect to time basically varies inversely as the radius, that is directly as the radius, radius where it's directly as the radius of the square of the uh, that is the square of the radius or remains constant. So let's see. So here this is circular region, right? So area of the circular region is given by pi r square. Okay. And this particular area keeps on increasing at a constant rate with respect to time. So if we write dA by dt, let me differentiate it with respect to time. So we can have 2 pi r dr by dt. So this will be constant, okay? This will be constant. So therefore, we can further write dr by dt equal to k by 2 pi r. We can write this now. Now we are to look at the rate of increase of perimeter. So perimeter can be given by. perimeter is 2 pi r okay so if we write uh, say p uh, let me denote p equal to 2 pi r if we differentiate the same with respect to t then we have dp by dt equal to twice pi dr by dt so dr by dt we can actually substitute with k 2 pi r twice by twice by by cancel so we have k by r okay so here we can see dp by dt is inversely proportional to the radius that is option b is a okay inversely proportional sorry not option b option a is a correct answer is directly right option a is a correct answer so again this was a very uh, interesting question or we had to do a simple differentiate and find out the relation with respect to perimeter and the radius. So, in case you are having any kind of difficulty with the approach towards the question, I suggest you go through the video multiple times so as to get you a clear understanding on the concepts involved. Having said that, in case you like the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel so that we can keep coming up with relevant content such as this further down the line as well. And with all that said and done, I'm signing out. Thank you so much.